Good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody. Welcome to Loving It on Keto with Wendy. Harry, Harry's the cameraman and Miss Little Sally Girl who is our little chihuahua. Ha! Huh. Man, you guys, we have got a lot to do today. Yes, we do, but oh, today, yeah. this week, we are doing, uh, and this week, uh, Wendy, brain, brain fog, the month of June, the entire month. I do not have a calendar, and I'm so used to doing calendars that we don't have one. Our challenge this month is basically gonna be from the End Your Carb Confusion, Dr. Eric Westman and Amy Berger, and in this book, it is page 73. It's the Adapt Your Life Diet Phase 1 Food List. That's what Harry and I are doing. We are so busy, it isn't even funny. We haven't even, uh, we put, we got a realtor last week for the house. We haven't even finished emptying it or anything. He got a buyer. We accepted the offer. The buyer is coming to look at it. My mom's house is paid for. This guy has cash. He's doing a walkthrough tomorrow. The um, the uh, inspector's coming tomorrow. He wants to close in 10 days. So we've got to get on the stick. We've got to get the rest of the stuff out. And we've got to figure out all the logistics and the furniture and all of that stuff. But the good news is we've sold mom's house and the market here in Phoenix has exploded. There are not enough houses. And so the houses have skyrocketed in price, which is fabulous. Well, for, for you know, for my mom, because she paid cash. Kind of a seller's uh, market. Yes, moment. nine years ago. So yeah. really it's a great deal. And we're very, very blessed that all of this has happened, but it's just like, boom, 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 boom. And you know, the escrow and getting the papers and having this and having that. So I've got to take all those things and have mom do all the electric signatures and all of those things. Um, we took our bank today. today. Yes, got to do the banking today. You're right. We got to take her to the bank today and open up an account to put the escrow money in and all the things today. So I may or may not eat out on the road. Probably will. Um, and then yeah, I may or may not show it, but we'll go from there. So anyway, you guys, this morning, how's everybody doing? Are you guys doing the... Um, Dr. Eric Westman's page four or the adapt uh, phase one with us this month. It's weird because I keep I keep wanting to go to the refrigerator for Do your a challenge and a calendar and I don't have one. Well, you know, you which is very freeing because I can actually not worry about uh, is it a BBBE day? Am I you know intermittent fasting today? What is it that I'm doing today? And today I'm going to be very very busy and I will be able to eat as long as I eat the foods in the list that I have. Took a picture of it, it's on my phone. Can't share it because the book is copywritten. You guys can get that. I think you can go to adaptyourlife.com, maybe get page four. I think you can purchase it somewhere, I'm not sure. Or the book, but anyway, you, you guys. Got on your, it's got on your, uh, your uh, Amazon, it's on our Amazon it's on, site. It's on your Amazon store yes. in the book section. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, you guys. With others. Look at my little octopus. Oh, look at Wendy. Where did you get that, Wendy? I got it yesterday. What? On Amazon. Not yes. I, I got it last night. But you guys, I have a really cute octopus pin, and I'm I'm kind of weird about having like things that match. And I was perusing. I've been buying mom things um, so like she had shoes to buy and nightgowns and dresses, and it popped up, and I was like, oh, oh my gosh, that's an octopus. Oh my gosh, that's a ring. Oh my gosh, that looks like Wendy. Yeah, yeah. Even ma it I matches like your clothes, it you does. guys. It does. Is that why you wore that today? Yes, it's purple for my yeah. little purple and pink octopus. Well, yeah. kind of wine, grape, grapey, pinky. Yeah, octopus. grapey, pinky. That's it. Grapey, pinky. Yeah. I have a very pretty octopus pin that I adore. Yeah, I was gonna say that. And I you couldn't have find it because I changed over my jewelry and cleaned up and moved it, so it's temporarily in a place that I'm not used. to. To it being i didn't lose it, it but it's somewhere oh you didn't lose it it's just in there it's it's somewhere yeah i put stuff away and all of a sudden i can't find it i i organized all my jewelry again and now i can't find it so sort of like your life you yes know. you organize it and can't find <laughs> you're it you're right i'm trying to or you know you guys as you 
as you grow up and as you're young and as you're building your house and everything, you know, you, you do all this decorating, you do all these collections and everything else. When you become my age, all of a sudden, now I look at all this stuff and I'm thinking, I gotta dust that. Oh my God, I've gotta move that. Oh my gosh, I've gotta dust that. I've gotta dust that cabinet. And then she goes, I know, I'll let the husband do it. No, then I go, all I want to do is take my house, turn it upside down, shake it really hard, and whatever falls out, ignore, shove it to the side, call somebody, have them come and take it away, turn my house back over, and then, you know, it's going to be all zen. Yeah, all zen. Yeah. All zen, which I couldn't do. What do you mean? Because, like like, like you know, sand on the no, floor? No, very minimalist, which Wendy is not. In case you didn't notice, Wendy is not a minimalist. I like busy, I like big, I like bold, but it sounded good. But anyway, especially when you're going through and doing somebody else's house and you're moving stuff to your house and I have these boxes over here full of stuff from my mom's and I don't have any place to put them. I have pictures, I have memories, I have dishes, I have Trotsky's, I've got knickknacks. And it's like, oh, where am I gonna put these? They're all gonna need to be dusted, yes. So anyway, I love my mom. I love these things. But yes, it's, it's one of those months for us. And the good news is if we just follow adapted phase one or the phase uh, page four, Dr. Eric Westman's page four, we'll be fine. Thank you. Thank you for simplicity. I need something simple this month in my life. Yes, I do. Anyway, you guys. What did we have to eat yesterday that was perfectly keto? I will explain. Yes, indeed, I will. We had a keto shake. I had a whole bunch of them made. We, I made a nice big tuna salad with big. mayonnaise you mean and gigantic. lettuce. It was wonderful. It really was, you guys. It was so good. It was cool and refreshing. We came home, cooked beef for ch uh, the puppy from Miss Little Sally Girl. So we had six ounces ground beef with a tablespoon of mustard and mayonnaise. Ketchup. Ketchup two slices of cheddar cheese we had keto chow ice cream and what i did is i took one package of the plain peanut butter the new one and one of the chocolate peanut butter and i used the powdered butter in it oh man was that a good oh, that, that was, was really peanut buttery but it had enough chocolate oh man oh, it was so good it was no really it was you put that really, butter powder in there yes it changed it oh my god that peanut butter just popped it was yeah. so so so, 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 so good. good. Yeah. And we had collagen. I had a coffee yesterday. Um, I'm still not able to drink a whole cup of coffee. I love the taste, but it just, my stomach is still kind of a little bit queasy still um, from having the flu virus that I had last week. Anyway, you guys, we had 22 grams of carbs, 111 grams of fat. Protein was 131 grams of protein and calories was 1578 this was a little higher but you guys i was hungry yesterday and that salad tasted so good i probably had more greens than i should have now remember i lost weight when i was sick with intestinal flu now i'm well my body is stabilizing so i could potentially gain some weight back as my body stabilizes Stabilizes. And yes, I went up. I weigh, uh, uh, I went up 4 tenths. I hate to tell you this, but that's from that freaking salad we had. Well, we had the freaking salad? Yeah. It was a freaking salad. Oh, it was guys. fabulous. And it was so it was, good. I cannot eat salad. It was salad. so good. Well, then why did you eat it? Because it was there. He follows me right along like a little lemmy, right off the cliff. Boom! Yep. He's right there. What are we having? What are we having? What are we eating? Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, can I have some? Yeah, that's Harry. That's Harry. But you know what? I love him, and if he wants it, he can have it because it's perfectly keto. And sometimes salad can bloat you, and sometimes it can't. Right here. Yes. Ooh, he's growling at me. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He went up two tenths. I went up four. Yes, indeed, we did. That's because you made the salad. Now, you guys. You're being punished. <laughs> I was watching uh, Amy Berger. She did a segment on the importance of iodine. And you guys all know, for those of you who are uh, longtime viewers, and for those of you who are new, I always have told people the importance of iodine. I always have. I have iodine. I have dulce granules, which are C seasonings. It's an excellent source of iodine. I have kelp 
granules that's an excellent source of iodine to put in my food. I have Organic Sea Kelp Delight Seasoning by Bragg's, and this is more Italian seasoning. If you don't like the taste of kelp, seafood, if you're not a seafood person, we use this on our fish, okay? But the dulce, or dulce, this is a sea plant, and it does not taste seaweedy, if that makes sense to you guys. Wendy's word, that's a word, put it in my book. Seaweedy, it doesn't, it does not taste seaweedy. It has a slight nutty taste and it's very good. <laughs> but what she said was in addition to iodine, you need selenium. And I looked in my box, my pirate's chest, for those of you who don't know, I will share the pirate's chest of vitamins. We have our vitamins in here. So there's lots of things in there, but I did not have selenium. The iodine that I take, the drops, I can't get anymore. So I did research, went on Amazon, and I found one that had like 4,000 likes on it and everything else from Go Nutrients Iodine Edge. And what I like about it is that this is nascent iodine, N-A-S-C-E-N-T, okay? It's not made from shrimp or shellfish or anything like that. It's really good, pure iodine. So if you're allergic to shellfish, you have to watch some of the iodines because you're not allergic to iodine, you're allergic to the shellfish portion of it. But she said, in addition to iodine, you need selenium. And guess what I have not been taking? I have not been taking selenium. Yes, selenium, you can get good sources in foods that you eat, but I thought, wow, I'm taking Iodine, I need to be taking selenium, so I got one of both, and these came. And Harry, you should put these on our Amazon mm. site because I researched this particular selenium too, and it is a chelated, it's superior absorption, it's immune and antioxidant support, it's, and it's yeast-free selenium. So those of you who have uh, a yeast sensitivity, uh, you can do this because this does not, and they get selenium can be derived are extracted from yeast and so this does not have yeast Well, they'll in it. put it in uh, vitamins and supplements. Yes. So when this, we're starting this today and we've got just a few more drops in here. And when this one is done, we'll be starting this one, you guys. So just want to stress again the importance of taking iodine. We're not a doctor. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a medical practitioner. But you need, iodine is in every single cell of your body. Okay. Has the importance of it yeah. is extreme. And the reason why I am so passionate about iodine is I was born with a hearing impairment. I was born basically deaf, 75% hearing loss. I had to have surgery and then they did radium treatments on me Stuck to clear my airways, up my nose, in my ears, to clear all the pathways so that I could hear. The good news is I can hear. It changed my life. The bad news is radiation. If you radiate anywhere near your thyroid, you can kill your thyroid. So I have diligently been tested and have super watched my thyroid all my life because this happened when I was two and a half years old. I had a cousin that was deaf as well, relation, and she didn't have anything like that. She was several years older than I, so she was about 12, 13, 15 more years than I. So she didn't have that benefit. So um, I feel very blessed that they found out what it was. They were able to create it and treat it, but I have always watched my thyroid. I have a nodule on my thyroid. I had to have it biopsied um, nine and a half years ago now. It was um, benign and you can get nodules on your thyroid and they can be benign. So I just watch it, and so I have always taken iodine, always. So I just want to remind people, most of the area, at least in the U.S., has depleted the soil. You know, unless you're by the ocean, unless the ocean waves and the moisture and the water and everything else gets into the soil, unless it's put back in there chemically and turned into the soil, you're not getting the iodine you used to. That's why if you ever see mineral blocks for cows or horses or sheep or lambs or goats or any animals. They're, they're red, pinkish color. They have white. 
They have yellow, they have reddish pinkish ones that has iodine in it because the animals need iodine too. And they're not getting it in the hay and the food and the oats and the grains and the things that they're eating, even out grass fed. They need it in their life too. So, you know, you're getting that food, the enrichment and the food they eat comes through the meat and we eat that. So just make sure Talk with your doctor. Make sure that any medicine that you are taking is not counterindicative of it. Talk to your doctor about potentially adding iodine. That's all I'm saying. Talk to your doctor about the selenium because it could be, uh, it could counteract or be wrong for the medicine you are taking. So if you are in any kind of medicine whatsoever, talk to your doctor first. Whenever you add anything new over the counter, make sure. Anyway, you guys, whew, I get going and I just talk and talk and talk. Yes, you do. I do, but I've got to go now because huh, I got to go meet mom and um, get some of this paperwork and stuff out of the way. Got to take her to the bank, do all kinds of stuff today. And I will share anything that I do along the way, you guys, but I have got to go now. So I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Hey everyone, hey listen, I, I wanted to do something a little different today, you know, I wanted to uh, go over showing you guys how I made some, how I make a specific type of coffee that I like, I, Wendy's the one who kind of put this together and I really like it a lot, I don't know if she got the idea from somebody else, I don't know, but this is the way I've been making myself, it's a sweet coffee in the mornings, and I do a little, uh, you know, she has me use a uh, some MCT oil with it, but I don't like to use that very often because it can sometimes cause me to, you know, have a lot of problems downstairs. So I only have the MCT oil, you know, or the MCT that's in it, and I'll show it to you in a minute, only when I feel the need, if you know what I mean. But, you know, I, what? What do you, what do you, what are you bothering me for? Well, I'm having a big problem seeing lately. These little ring glasses just ain't doing it for me anymore, you know? Oh, really? Well, you know, I've been thinking about you a, long, a lot lately about how, you, you know, I can notice you've been running into things and not being able to do well. So I bought you a new pair of glasses. Would you like to see them? Really? Try them on, maybe? Well, yes, I'd like to try them out. Okay, here you go. Ah, well, yes. These are quite nice. These are do adequately. Yeah, I kind of thought you'd like those. Why don't you go off and read something and let me finish with what I'm doing here, okay? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'd like to go try these out. Yeah, you do that, okay? Ah, oh, look, I can see my toes. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, anyways, back to what we're doing. So, I've already got my coffee, the, the coffee, base coffee made, which is basically, you know, my Arbuckles or, uh, that I really like, Rosa blend. I like it, you know, really heavily roasted. So, and it's dark. Look, well, I'll show you. 
Here it is, already made, already made it up. It's kind of, it's hot, ready to go. Right, right, so I'm gonna make this and I'll show it to you. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into a, a, a clear glass so you can kind of see what's going on, all right? So, you know, as you all know, I like, like I just said a minute ago, my, my favorite coffee is, uh, is Arbuckle's Arosa coffee. And I had to pick up some more. So I got myself another pound of it the other day over Joe's. Oh, here, put it back here. So, basically what I use this for is I go basically one scoop of heavy cream, which is this here, it's this powdered stuff. One scoop, and the scoop is really small, as, all, as you will see. I also use one scoop of collagen. Keto, you know, keto collagen. Uh, and of course, then I also have my uh, one half scoop of MCT, right? And then I put like about 10 drops of stevia in there to make it. So I'll pour it up right now. So the cup I'm going to be using is this. This is, uh, says Rustic Cabin Coffee on the front, established 2016. And there's a little story behind this, this cup. And the cup is that they were made basically because a friend of Wendy's and mine um, owned a cabin up in Washington State where we used to live. And uh, we used to go up there and party all the time, have a good time in the cabin, you know. And uh, just down the road was a guy who, who basically owned a, a, a little eat place or something. And uh, if I got the story right, and because of the cabin, he made these rustic cabin coffee glasses. And this is, this is I think it's the coffee that they're actually serving in that place is rustic cabin coffee. And because they decided to have their own blend, right? So anyways, that's what that is. I'm gonna use that so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'll turn it around like that. So basically, I'm making a nice coffee out of this, right? So even though this is a hot coffee right now, I'm gonna put some ice cubes in it just to cool it down after I get done making it. But put this in my glass, and you can do this the same way with either hot coffee or, um, you know, cold coffee. And what I'll, then what I'll do is I'll take this, I'll take one scoop of this, and this is a level, not even that much, but about like that amount. I'll put that in there. This is the scoop that come, I think, that Wendy got this for it because she liked the little scoop. I'm not really sure how much that is. Then the MCT, which you put in. This is the collagen, excuse me. This is the collagen mixture, and this is what I put in now. And I only, you only put in like a half a scoop, right? About a half a scoop of that. Then if I'm having some problems, you know, then I'll go ahead and put some of this MCT oil powder in there. And I'm okay right now because I already had this this morning, but this is the show. I thought I'd show you guys this one. But this is what we put in because this stuff works. Oh, yeah, this is great. Great stuff. Then I'll put in 10 drops of my um, Better Stevia. This is coconut, but I like using hazel, hazelnut or something. But unfortunately, uh, or English toffee, excuse me. English toffee, and we just don't have any right now, so I'm gonna have to use this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I guess you could say I like it sweet. And I'll go ahead and mix that up. I always go like towards the top because it breaks up the little, well, you know, like clods or whatever it is you're using. And that's pretty much it right there, right? And then of course you'll go ahead and put a couple of ice cubes in there. Right? Let that cool for a few. And away we go. So that's pretty much about it when I want myself a sweet coffee. Or if I need some of the extra punch, I use this. Now, Wendy uses this all the time. I mean, she has no problem using it. Plus, it helps her when she, cause she gets really bad headaches, migraines, in fact, and the uh, MCT oil it helps her with that. 
So she pretty much uses it every day. She's she has no problem with it. I myself, I gotta watch it. Ah, uh, yeah. When you want a sweet coffee, that's really cool. Yeah, you might find that. Some of you guys might find that to be overkill, but uh, now when you now when you want, some, I just want something sweet. Plus, it gets rid of that craving when you want something like something sweet, like. You know, what you shouldn't eat, this pretty much takes care of that. Caffeine and sweetness. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. I'm going to go have this. And, uh, well, I guess I'll see you guys later on today. Sometime. Maybe. Hopefully. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This is amazing. I can see everything. Wow. This is pretty neat. I gotta get your mustard out, Harry. That's right. Anyway, you guys, I am, we are back. We swung by after Mom and I got done at the bank getting her account all set up and everything that we needed to do. Picked Harry up. Um, mom's wheelchair lost a lug nut and I had to bring the bolt. What part was that? The That's the nut. bolt. The bolt. I brought the bolt. He had to find a lug nut to go on the bolt. And so mom bribed him. <laughs> if he could find one for her, she would take us to Coco's for lunch. So he came and he found one. It was a three eighths. Anyway, we did the whole thing. Put it in my purse. We went to Coco's and Harry and I had two eggs over medium with a hamburger patty. That's right, because you yes, know, I, I walk around with a sign on my neck that says, we'll work for food. Well, no, that's what we did. Mom um, had her little meal and we came back, dropped Harry off. I took mom back and then I put the bolt back on the wheelchair and everything else. And it was the brake that that came off of, oh. so I had to fix it. So I didn't have anything to tighten it with. I didn't have a wrench or anything, but I did hand tighten it and it, and it works. So. Just got to be careful with that. She has two wheelchairs there. Anyway, you guys. My battery is, is dying. It is 728 and we are having another hamburger bowl. So it is a B. It's officially a BBB day. Yes, indeed. Following the guidelines of phase one, adapt your life, carb confusion, or adapt your life. Dr. Eric Westman's page four. Yes. Okay. So here's what we're doing. Uh, we I got to change. Did you hear me say the battery is dying? That means it's basically dead. Oh, change the battery. I'll wait. Harry had to change the battery. Sorry, folks. Sorry. I've got our beef in here. I'm making a ground beef bowl because we both love them. So, putting on some mustard. So easy. So delicious, you guys. Oh, I, it's my favorite food. Meow. Yep. Because I was a hamburger fanatic. Got the mustard. I got some a Tillamook Colby Jack cheese because we can have cheese. You say cheese, please. Yes, thank you very much. So far, we're doing okay with cheese. You don't want to go overboard. You want to follow the rules. Here comes a little cheese There's monster. Little Sally. Oh, come here, you. Come here. Sit down. She heard the word cheese. Yeah, Colby Jack. What do you think? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Boy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that stare. It's a cheese stare. She's got this cheese stare. Anyway, so this is what we're doing. Got hamburger, mustard, uh, farm style thick cut slice of cheese. When we're done heating this, I'm going to put a dollop of thigh non fat yogurt on it. It's, it'll act like and taste like sour cream, but it's good. Yeah. Works great. Uh, probiotics for my gut. It's mm. really helping you guys. I always pour off the whey. Any liquid in here, pour it off because there goes some of those carbs. When you pour off the liquid, see the liquid in there in the bottom? Yeah. I'm going to pour it out. Just pour that out every time. And you're getting rid of carbs. So, I'm going to put this in the microwave. We're going to heat it and we'll be right back. 
I'm going to do a no-no. Right. I'm not going to use the shield of protection. I'm not. Well, you get on your own self. It's my right? rules. I can break them. It's my rules. I can break them. I can't put two under there at once. I got scared because it started popping. So I put, whoops. I'm, I'm laying the shield of protection just barely on these. Come on, guys. Okay. I spread them apart a little bit. No, excuse me. Okay. At least it's on. All I need to do is break my own rule and have it explode everywhere. And then Harry will never let me live it down. That's right. He will never let me live it down. That is correct. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back when we have melted cheese and a hot beef bowl. Yes, indeed. They're done. I'm so happy I put this on. Started talking. I see some in there. Where? No, you do not. I well, do. that's from last. That's you. That's yours. Oh, what did what? what? Ow, 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 ow! Yes. I should have put the. Ooh, look at that. Should have put the posy cozies in. Oops, this one's got stains on it. Gotta wash it. Hot, 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 hot. Now, that's what I'm doing. Taking my sour cream. About a tablespoon. For yeah, each this one. works really well. It does. It's very good. What do you do with what's on the spoon? You say. Well, this is what I do. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Yep. Mm mm mm. I love that taste. And then I have some egg life wraps, and I just throw them in the microwave for a couple of seconds. Just to get the, just to get them warmed a little bit. It doesn't bother the wrapping at all. Tell us, Wendy, why are you doing that? To warm up the egg white wraps. So For what? Can, so we can shovel them in and roll them up and eat them. And oh, that's a great idea. I like that idea. I like that idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. They warm? Yeah, works. Well, then come on, let's go eat. Okay, well. Anyway, you guys, this is dinner. It is just a beautiful beef and cheese with sour cream beef bowl. Yes, indeed. Well, it's not really, is it sour cream, is it? Yeah, I guess. Well, I call it sour cream. Well, it's yogurt. It's it's kind of yogurt. I mean, I think they're made kind of the same it's way. sour yogurt. Sure. Anyway, you guys, it's delicious, and we're going to go eat now. So. I'm gonna set this down because I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up for yeah, the night. Yeah, it's already going on eight o'clock, man. I gotta, <sighs> I gotta yes, edit indeed. this thing yet. So yes, I'll be indeed. up till, till you know, midnight. Anyway, everybody, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, hit the notification button so that you get notified every time we upload a video and it goes live. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Let's see if she sneezes for us. Can you say goodnight? You, you've been talking. She says, well, I, I already did that. Would you like some of my egg life wrap? No, I think you would like cheese instead. Sure, she'd love the cheese instead. Okay, okay let's get some. Or here. Or here. Sit down. Can you go down, 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 down? Down, puppy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say goodnight, everybody. Yeah, you're such a good girl.